The right thing is to start your day with the Bible. We're at Lamentations 3, verses 25 to 27 in our reading for our daily devotional. Let's see what the scripture says. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. It is good that one should hope and wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man to bear the yoke in his youth. So let's think about this text a little bit. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. God is not arbitrary. He's not uh, a little indifferent. He's not up one day and down another. God is good. You know, the, the superficial saying is that God is good. He's good all the time. And although people often give that in sort of a way that seems superficial, it's true. God is good, and he is good all the time. So when we read that the Lord is good to those who wait for him, it's saying that if you're patient, if you're willing to trust, if you're willing to, to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, even though you don't know what the next step is necessarily in your walk with him, the Lord is good. He is good for you. He has, has thoughts to give you a future and a hope. The Lord has a really good plan for you. He's, he's not going to put it out in front of you in, in bullet points but he's going to walk with you through it if you just trust him. We want to be, be spirit-led, not be afraid to take the next step forward, but we want to be seeking him. It also goes on to say, it is good that one should hope and wait quietly. There's, there's something about being willing to trust God and to take some time and to not be so urgent and nervous instead of when you think things should be happening instantly, happening right now. It's all right, let's just watch for how God leads and he'll show us how to go next. We don't have to be going at, at 90 miles an hour all the time. What we need to do is, is be in his will all the time. Finally, there's a statement here that's, that's quite interesting. It says, it is good for a man to bear the yoke in his youth. And that's an interesting thing to say. It seems a little bit almost out of place here. I thought we were talking about how God leads his people. But remember, Jeremiah was a prophet from his younger years, from his very younger years, and he bore, this is, this is talking, I think, not only to a general principle, which is good for all who are ready to follow God, but it's also talking to the experience of Jeremiah. It is good for a man to bear the yoke in his youth. Jeremiah, looking back now after, after, quite, after many years, Jeremiah looks back and he says, you know, even though that was very difficult for me when I was, was very youthful, and I went through some of the hardest things I ever went through in my life, that was actually good for me. That was God used that in a way to develop me spiritually. And I think that's a basic principle that's true. You serve the Lord while you're youthful, and that will, will reap fruit for you, spiritual fruit, character fruit. You'll have life experience, not just life experience. Everybody gets some life experience, but you'll have life experience following the Lord Jesus, and that is invaluable. There's nothing to top that. So God will use you in, in, in a larger way in the future years of your life. And although you might not be looking for it, I might not be looking for it. Uh, we're not trying to become famous or be some hero or something, but we're just trying to faithfully serve him, probably in a very quiet and, and nondescript way. That's okay. If God chooses to use you in a, in a larger way, we should say yes. Why? Because the glory will go to him. It won't go to us. So we want to be used to the maximum to God's glory even if we're not uh, trying to make a name or become somehow famous ourselves. Well, let's, let's pause and pray about this. This is a positive word. Remember a few, a few mornings ago, it was like, ah, I've lost all my hope. But, but we see here that no, no, God and Jeremiah are still in tune. And in fact, they have been for many years. So let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we realize that commitment to your ways will be rewarded. Uh, we're not necessarily looking for rewards or trying to stack up gold coins or something, but, but Lord, we, we want to be right, and uh, we are glad that you're working for us spiritually. Bless each one that's hearing and give them strength for this day, Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And God will give you strength for this day. Have a wonderful day in service to the kingdom.